Every year, me and my family would travel to visit my parents. They had moved out of their primary residence in the 70s and into their summer home, which they purchased in 1958. My sister and her husband were also visiting. One night, the four of us were sitting outside on the deck enjoying a nice conversation. My parents were at one of those grocery stores that stayed open late. My two children and my niece were upstairs, playing a board game, in one of the bedrooms with the door closed. Suddenly my ten-year-old son came running out to the deck and was screaming. We were startled as he seemed to be extremely upset. We asked what happened. He said that someone was knocking on the bedroom door but they didn't ask who it was. They locked the door and started laughing, and told the person knocking to go away, and not to bother them, as they were having fun and didn't want to be disturbed. He said the knocking continued, and eventually he opened the door, only to find that no one was there. He ran down the stairs with the other two children, who locked themselves in the bathroom. We thought this to be a little strange, because earlier in the day, my brother-in-law asked my sister why she opened his door in the middle of the night, and was whispering his name. She said she was fast asleep all night, and never opened his door or whispered his name. They blew it off as just a dream, but my husband and I were startled, as there were numerous similar strange occurrences that occurred in the house over the years. We never shared them with the children or my sister, as we did not want to frighten them. Eventually, my parents returned from doing their shopping. We all sat outside on the deck again and told my parents what had happened. After hearing the story, my mother said she was so embarrassed. Twice she had invited a couple to stay for the weekend in the past. The couple slept in the bedroom on the second floor. My parents' room was on the first floor. In the morning, they asked my mother why she was up so late at night walking around the house. My mother told their guests they were in bed all night, and no one else was in the home. Several weeks later, my parents invited them back for a second visit. They were sleeping upstairs once again, and my parents were sleeping in the downstairs bedroom. Again they heard someone walking up and down the stairs in the middle of the night. They got up to see who it was, only to find my parents, fast asleep in their bed. They were so frightened, so they packed their bags and left. My parents always kept the windows in their car closed, when not in use. About a week after their guests left in the middle of the night, they started noticing that the windows in their car were down. They kept the car in the garage so it was not possible for someone to get in there. They put the windows up but the next day they were down again. This went on almost every day, so my father took the car to the dealership, and they could not find anything wrong that would cause the windows to go down. Going back 25 years, when I was a child, my bedroom was downstairs. One night I heard what sounded like someone had placed a ladder up against the house, then walked up the ladder, opened the window, entered the bedroom through a window and was walking around the room. I was so frightened, as my father was staying at our other house which was two hours away, and my mother was sleeping alone in her bedroom and no one else was home. I quietly got up, and made my way into her bedroom where she was fast asleep. I gently shook her, and said don't say a word. She looked at me and wondered what was going on. I said that someone was upstairs in the house. We both listened, and sure enough, we heard shuffling footsteps in the upstairs bedroom. I decided to climb out of her bedroom window, and cross the street to my neighbor's house. I knocked on their door and the son answered. I said that someone was in my house, so he got his shotgun and went into our house through the window. He listened for noise but didn't hear any, so he proceeded to open the door and search the house, only to find that no one was there, and the window in the upstairs bedroom was locked. A few weeks later, my girlfriend and I were babysitting for my sister while my parents were at a dance at the clubhouse. We were chatting and having fun, when all of a sudden we heard someone walking around on the second floor. My friend wanted to know who was upstairs. She thought we were the only ones in the house. I said no one was upstairs or anywhere in the house. This was probably a stupid thing to do, but I took my chances and made my way upstairs with a large kitchen knife. I went from room to room, opening all of the closet doors but no one was there. Back to the present time. My sister and I decided to look into the history of the house. 
We did a search in a newspaper database for the year the house was sold. We found a story relating to the house. The headline read, Judge's son dies from gunshot injuries after intruder enters home through bedroom window.